Hi all, my name is Tom Rom. I'm doing a video on behalf of Nightlight 9 and today it's going to be looking over Guild. Uh, as those who don't know, we've actually had a new feature come to the game and you can see it's just down here, it is the Guild feature and there is a lot to it, so much so that we can't fit it in one video. So we're going to go over it in two sections, uh, potentially three when the new content comes out this time tomorrow um, but we'll be going over for this video what's in the guild and actually how it works for the next video it would be how the weapons are looking and if we end up putting a third one out it was really actually unsure it would be on the guild battle rankings what this all means you'll figure out as you go through the video okay so what are guilds well for this catch a game they decided to give us a community feature that allows us to come together have a little chat room which is quite nice uh, which is a bunch of different pictures that you can see that this guild that i'm in been part of that is currently run by nightlight himself and how it all comes about uh, it allows us to talk it allows us to do content together and allows us to get special bonuses it also allows us to buy some weapons uh, again we'll get into that in a moment so let's just go over the features when you make a guild um it allows you to either join one it costs about 100 blue crystals or you can join another how do you join another well you can either search through the list and i can't exactly show that as i'm already in one but we can show you roughly what other guilds look like through here through the guild search and you would join through and you send a request to those you want to join this lets you see what type of guild you can join some people are saying that obviously just beginner friendly you no know, pressure to chat some of them aren't playing anything some have said hey look we're really active at set times a day for them for all um for us i believe we're actually set so we're set up for the entire day how we actually are set up i can't exactly remember let's see if we can go down and have a look so we're set up ourselves but you can choose how you want your guild to be approached. Do you want it to be more about being for beginners? Do you want it to be, oh, only people that we know. Sorry about that. And that's something we used to have up, but we don't anymore. Do you want it to be, hey, look, we're only active at night. Um, if you've got a community from multiple places around the world, I'd recommend having active throughout because that's going to help. You can have up to 30 members in your guild. Now, we have heard on quite a few occasions, hey, look, we're going to allow it up to 99 or 100. I don't know at the moment if that's true. We have heard about it since they first hinted at guilds. And even on the live stream, there was rumors of it seeing said that on the, both the global and Japanese streams. And they showed it in some of the data leaks that came out much earlier in the year but as of right now we have not found a way to expand the total amount of members if anything changes uh, we'll be sure to get a comment in this video and uh, pin it at the top to let people know what's changed so as you can see we have up to 30 members and everybody will be showing when they've logged in last the power level, max power that I've got attached to their account. And if you hit toggle display, you can see how much experience a team has brought in on the week and total amount of weekly bonus points. How these points work? Well, let's go and have a look. In your guild, you have access to a guild level. Now, what the guild level does, we don't actually know. Um, as of right now, they've not actually told us what it will do directly. However, if we go off the data leaks, they've indicated that eventually when you hit a certain threshold, which seems to be 60, it may unlock some special other features due to your bonuses. We'll see if that is true later on, but as of right now, I do not know of any guilds that have legitimately hit level 60, and those who are illegitimate have been struck down by the developers to make sure it is fair for everybody. So it's gonna be a bit of time until we can get a bit more information on that. But that's just the guild experience, which is this blue one here. 
What about the yellow one? Well, the yellow one is for guild bonuses. Guild bonuses allows us to have a bunch of different bonuses for the game, as long as you are part of that community. That is expedition bonus that allows you to have quicker duration, uh, quicker journeys, and the total amount of journeys that increase. And eventually, if we move down to level twenty-five, allows you. Apologies, the game had a bit of a freak out there. Level 25, it also lets you to have a better lineup and buying new chocobos at a higher rank. How much plus one makes a difference, we don't know. What I can tell you is that at level 50, it only goes up to plus two. And eventually it's 10% less duration and plus 15 extra items on your uh, exp on your, each expedition of each chocobo coming back. Not many guilds we've seen actually go for this. It's just worth noting. Some people have unlocked it. Some people just have left it. But it's just worth knowing what it is. High wind bonus. High wind bonus comes with three different buffs again. Again, as you can see, we've got two of them. I believe it's, no, it's only two buffs. My apologies. I got that wrong. It allows us to have a rare item seeker. This lets us get a, a chance to get other rare items when collecting items in the high wind. And that leaves like the little blue teardrops in your like Astro Wind and rare enemy seekers. This lets you have a better chance to have rare enemies encounter. Now, we should note there has been an announcement that's gone out to the community from actually the data mining team. And that is this, and this is kind of important. After some user reports, and thank you to the people who have brought it up, and a bit of reverse engineering and testing it, people have found that on certain levels, that is 14, 22, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70, you don't get access to rare enemies. This is really, really bad because it means that people who are maxed out, and I am looking at the whales that have done this, cannot make the most of their total high wind because that is how we progress the account. We use Astro Wind which comes from the rare enemy drops to increase the rank of the little icons that we increase the level of in high winds. We're hoping for this to get fixed, but it should be brought up while we're talking about the guild bonus, because if you're level 70 right now, the bonus that comes from guild bonus of doing this isn't going through to you. So let's just go back. But eventually, when you get to level 10, and as long as things aren't going wrong for you, you have a plus 10 to item seeker. We don't know if that's 10 items or if it's just plus 10 to rarity. If anybody has some information that can let us know, please do let us know and we will try to pin it until we get other updates and we can collate it all and put it in the messages underneath. At level 10 again, though, you'll get to rare enemy seeker plus 2. Which is quite nice. Let's see. Hopefully, you'll get it fixed and then everybody can enjoy this bonus. Battles. Battle is an interesting one. Uh, for those who may have seen, we have had a rare enemy drop in the game. It's called Crystal Cactua. So, why am I mentioning that? Well, Crystal Cactua seems to have only dropped as soon as the guild bonus dropped. And it seems to have something to do with this. Higher special rare enemy encounter rate. At level 20, is about 2.9%. And it's level 21, it's at 3%, which, by the way, 3% is half of the max you're allowed at the moment. Um, this lets you get a bunch of extra stuff. So this lets you get Mithril Ore. That's kind of interesting. And even if this is just regular Cactuas, that's a great news because Metal Cactuas give you extra experience and gold cactuas give you gill and if you've spoken to any player at the moment you'd know that there's a lot of us that are really low on gill so on gill i keep saying gill from Final Fantasy 14 <laughs> gold i apologize we've got a lot of gold missing in game and we need a bunch it is final fantasy so i think it is gill uh, at level 50 let's see if we can max it out we have access to 6% encounter rate, 100% extra more experience, and 50% more enhancement quest rewards. This should be noted, though, is that a 50% is not included on initial completion, so you shouldn't hold off till you hit level 50. 
before going for your initial completion, do it and go back to it when you hit level 50 to get your extra rewards. It's quite nice. Oh, Materia. Materia is arguably the one that everyone cares about. I've spoken to a few guilds and universally they've agreed, hey, look, this is like the big one. This is also the only bonus you start with as you start in a guild and you create a guild, these three are locked and you need to buy them. This one you start with. Why is this so important? Well, what we know is that for every time they say lower additional material cost, it's a percentage. So at level one, you ultimately have 1% less cost all the way up to a 15% discount in crafting material. There are also certain thresholds that you get to for improved rarity rates. This means it's easier to get a four and five star. The thresholds are level two, level five, level 10, and level 15. Now, a lot of communities are saying, take this to level 10 as quick as possible, because it really is worth it. And if you can afford to, take it to level 15 as soon as possible. Now, I may have, you may have noticed that certain ones have different max levels. Battle and Chocobo have up to 50 levels. Highwind only has 10, and Synthesis has 15, or Materia has 15. The lower the total amounts of levels, the higher it costs between levels. So for Chocobo and Battle, we're seeing about a 50 increase per five levels. So if it's 200 experience, so 750 experience here in a level's time, for the next five levels, it'll be 750. Then it'd be 800, 900, or 950, 1000, stuff like that. High wind goes up by, I believe, 1000, 2500. So this is here, 2500 increase. So there you go, it's actually quite a big jump in. So 2500 again to 10,000. 5,000 up to 15, 5,000 again to 20. Compared to materia that goes up a little bit slower. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as we've gone through, it's 10 twice here, it has gone up by 1,000 roughly, roughly on each level. So that's useful to know. That is essentially the important stuff, but I should probably explain how we get this these points because this is also really important. Also, I haven't even hinted how we get these coins yet. Okay, so you may have noticed that we've got these options. We've got menu, announcements, exchange, and missions. We go over them really quickly. Menu, you've seen it, it lets you choose your icon. You get a bunch that you unlock through the game. Wallpapers, how you want to be approached. You've got announcements. We've got exchange. I'm not going to go into that because that's another video to go through. There's a whole bunch of content, 13 new weapons. It's a lot. Look forward to rich, uh, re watching through that really quickly. But missions. We have four missions every day. Technically, there's more than four missions because these get double lapped. So this was originally synthesized material one time. And I believe it may have been three time and five time. But you should just care about the maximum amount. So synthesize five material a day collect five expedition rewards and that doesn't mean five max turn-ins it's just five points of a chocobo expedition is enough now i've deliberately not collected these yet so we can show off how this works um, by completing it you get access to an, a free item some guild experience and the bonus points experience as you turn them in, you get a higher and higher amount, which is brilliant because you get a little bit of points, but then you will see this. If you see the coin, it's the last turn in for the day or co-op. Solo has its own. Each one, the time you see this, gives you two coins. That means from doing dailies, you get four coins a day. I'm just going to quickly turn in solo in one go. Every time you see one of these, it means that they've had individual rewards. So there's four turn ins eventually. Again, two coins there, four coins in total, and these coins can be used for the exchange system that we'll go into in another video. 
Finally, I didn't really go over, but we have got a chat. Um, it allows us to type stuff. We have access to stamps and your favorite pictures that the community seemingly enjoys. I haven't seen, I don't know how many people choose them, who chooses them, but the game's given us a bunch to play with at the moment. What I can say is that if you are, you struggle to read it, maybe you can hear better. That's fine, they've given us these little icons. There'll be... There will be another upgrade likely tomorrow. You can click it and hear back what is being said. And that's great quality of life for the community. Well, that's basically it for the guild. I want to go over some more stuff, but again, we'll do that in the next video. Thank you so much for listening. I'm sorry if it felt a bit rushed, but we're trying to keep it in about 15, 16 minutes per video. This is Tom Rom. Thank you again for uh, Nightlight for letting me cover this for you. And if you want us to go over more information in more in-depth or in more videos, let us know if you want Nightlight to review this in a big collection after we release all the game information. Let us know as well. If there's certain parts of the game you'd like, hey, could you review this information? Let us know that. And we'll take it together, figure out what we can do, and see if we can get you out some amazing videos. This has been Tom Rom, video for Nightlight 9. Take care and have a lovely day.